Welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. So today I'm extremely happy to be bringing you guys my review of Princess of Hearts, the new Vera Wang Princess perfume that launched right at the end of 2016. So every year a viewer does a new princess and this year we decided to go with Princess of Hearts. Um, I will say that this is probably, I don't have all the princesses, um, but this is definitely toward the top of my list. I really do enjoy this one. So your box looks like this this time, and it says Vera Wang Princess of Hearts, um, Eau de Toilette Spray Vaporizer, 1 Fluid Ounce, 30 milliliters, and you've got kind of these almost chalkboardy hearts that go around the entire box, um, like that, and then it's broken up and gives you the information on the back. And then the bottle looks like this this time, and it's got those same kind of chalkboardy hearts just on the front, the back's completely clear, and the bottle and fluid are slightly tinted pink um, but it is definitely harder to tell um, it does look more like a clear bottle um, the crown this time has pink jewels going around the top since this is only the one ounce the crown does not come apart um, if this was a 50 milliliter the crown would separate into two pieces so the notes of this fragrance Top notes are watermelon, wild strawberry, and bergamot. Middle notes are lily of the valley and star jasmine, but based on the vanilla cream, musk, and cedar wood. So, I definitely love this fragrance, but it also does have um, some of my favorite notes in it. So, it's got watermelon, which I love. I love when lily of the valley is put in a fragrance, just because those are kind of fragrances I like a lot. When you first spray it, you definitely get a mix of the strawberry and the watermelon. It's a very, 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 very fruity fragrance. If you're not a huge fan of fruit fragrances, you probably will not like this fragrance. Um, the bergamot comes in there a little bit and adds a little bit of a citrusy note to it. But it's definitely like a strawberry watermelon hard candy at that first spray. As it starts to dry down more though, you do get some more of that, like the floral notes so you get a little bit of the lily valley which is i think the one note and like one floral heart i can really pick out i can get some jasmine but the jasmine isn't as like there as the lily of the valley is um but it neither you know, one's really really there um this definitely is like i said a very 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 fruity fragrance and it kind of holds that fruity note throughout the entire you can distinct more fruit notes t when you first spray it in that top, but as it starts to dry down, they kind of come together and just give you this overall fruit note um, with nothing overly distinctive one way or the other. Um, but I definitely think the watermelon note is probably that standout note. When you dry down the vanilla cream, you can definitely tell it's a vanilla cream um, because it's vanilla, but it's also got a slight edge of like almost a whipped cream note to it. But it isn't super desserty. Um, it's just it's more vanilla than it is that cream. It just I feel like the cream note does add a little bit to that vanilla without it just being you know vanilla bean or whatever. Um, the musk and cedar wood. I'm not getting a whole lot of either. This isn't a super musky fragrance. Um, you can smell them both there, but it's definitely kind of. If you had to pick standout notes throughout the whole fragrance, it'd be the watermelon, lily of the valley, and probably a mix of the vanilla, cream, and musk as it starts to dry down. Um, this is an eau toilette. It only lasts about four to six hours on me. It doesn't last too terribly long. I did wish it lasted longer just because I really do enjoy this fragrance. Um, I definitely said this is a springtime fragrance, definitely, just because the really, really prominent fruit notes and stuff doesn't really do as well in the colder months and in winter. It has been winter here and been balls-ass cold uh, the last few days, and I've been wearing it, and that could affect why it hasn't lasted as long on me, um, but we'll see once it starts to warm up if that lasts any longer. Um, this is more of a... This is a flanker in the Princess line, but I feel like this is more of a flanker to Princess Revolution, which came out last year, than to the original Princess. You can smell 
they all kind of have that same floralness to them, um, but they all, some of them take the floral and hide it in the back, which this one does, and some of them are a little bit more prominent on the florals. They all kind of have a very similar vibe is what I mean by that. Um, but this is definitely a closer to Princess Revolution. Princess Revolution was had a kind of like a sharp edge to it that this doesn't have. This is more fruity and sweeter and kind of bubblegummy pop, if that makes sense. It doesn't smell like bubblegum, but it's more bubblegummy pop than the edginess that uh, Princess Revolution was. So, there you guys go. There is my review of Vera Wang's Princess of Hearts. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, Ada S. Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. There are some really exciting videos coming up that I can't wait to show you guys, so please stay tuned to those. Just hit that button and subscribe, and that is going to be the easiest way for you guys to know that the new videos are up. So, stay tuned, you guys. There's much more, more coming um, within the probably upcoming week or so. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.